My name is Ezra Zerbeck and I'm a co-owner of 310 Timber Company, which is an architectural salvage company that specializes in the reclamation, restoration, and rebuilding of 18th and 19th century American crafted log cabins and timber frame barns. So Ezra and I, we met uh, by way of football. So we both uh, went to the University of Northern Iowa, uh, played football. We came in at the same freshman class and uh, were assigned as random roommates. And it was a, a match that ended up sticking. After uh, college ended and, and football was over for both of us, we, we figured we needed something else to do together and 310 Timber was born. Elias was looking for a woodworking material. I was looking for some material to renovate my house with and we were poor college kids who didn't have any money. So Elias' wife said, hey, why don't you go pull some siding off a barn? We got a phone call from a friend of ours and said, hey, I've got a barn for you. And it was a first true timber frame. We were taking it apart and we were just blown away that something could be built without metal fasteners. Elias, I remember him Googling what type of joint we were looking at and it ended up being the most common joint in timber framing, tenon and mortise. We really fell in love with it. Being able to take something that had stood for 100 years, 150 years, and be able to save it from being buried in a pile or burned and to be able to take that material to give it a new purpose and even rebuild it. If you're a barn owner or you are tearing down an old farmstead house and you discover that there are logs in the house and it's actually a pioneer built cabin, kind of the process starts with you sending us photos and information about the structure itself. You know, we're looking at photos of the four corners, we're looking for photos of the logs, just to see what kind of shape that they're in. Elias and I have an opportunity to then review the photos and see if it's even something that fits our business model and we'll then schedule a time to go and see it in person and hopefully shake the owner's hand as well. Once we've done that, if we decide to make an offer and the offer is accepted, we draw up a contract and set a date for the deconstruction. We're gonna fit that into a five to 10 day reclaiming trip. We will get the, the frame down to the bones of it. We'll save as much material as we can the good siding, the floorboards, rafters, floor joists, all those sort of things. The frames are salvaged for pieces to be incorporated in your homes, your businesses, whatever it might be. So once we have a cabin or a barn down, we'll ship it back to Cedar Falls, Iowa, where a lot is, and we'll get to work on all the repairs. The last barn that we did had over 50 repairs, and so this isn't just a matter of taking down a barn and slapping it back up on, on someone else's property. We really take pride in keeping as much of the original character and the original structure as possible. We partnered up with a friend of ours who actually is a classically trained cabin builder. He came alongside us and trained us for almost a year in the craftsmanship that goes into these buildings. There's something really cool about coming alongside these craftsmen who, who came 100, 150 years before us. If you are either looking to sell a 18th or 19th century barn or cabin, or maybe just even looking for a reclaimed structure to be rebuilt on your property, you can reach out to us from our website. There's a number that you can call us at. You can fill out a form that's just really simple questions, tells us a little bit about your project and gives us a kind of a starting point. At the end of the day, Elias and I are passionate about reclaiming American heritage one timber at a time, whether that's through reclaiming your American crafted log home or timber frame barn, or partnering with you and your family to repurpose one of these structures into a venue or a new home. We look forward to partnering with you and hearing about your project. Like we wanna see what the hayloft looks like. Uh, for the logs, we're, we're looking for um, photos of all the corners to see what kind of uh, see what kind of, um, it's such a simple word, I don't know why I'm forgetting that. Wood? Species? No, we're looking for photos of the logs, just to see what kind of shape that they're in. And, um... <laughs> <laughs> what? Shape? Shape was what I was looking for. <laughs> uh, okay.